a favor. Take me back to McDonald's last night. You're, you're there with, with uh, your, your colleague, a reporter with the Huffington Post. You're, you're charging your phone. Maybe you're eating a little dinner. And then police walk in. Tell me what happened. Well, police come in initially. They they clear as maybe six or seven people who were there eating. Again, McDonald's was open, and they told people things are getting a little hot. You should probably leave. You should work your way out of here. So the residents started leaving. Ryan and I, who've been in kind of out here during a lot of these protests, the, the idea that the protests were moving closer to us, unless we were not being told to leave, was not something that was going to scare us away. A few minutes later, the officers came back, and now they said this is an evacuation. You have to leave. Um, at which point we began videotaping the idea of these armed officers evacuating McDonald's not having anything to do with us but the idea of that happening was going to be compelling video no matter what the officers mm -hmm. took exception to the fact they were being videotaped uh, we had a little back and forth about whether or not that was allowed um, and as I as I tried to pack up my bag and all my stuff with one hand and videotape with the other they got frustrated I wasn't moving quickly enough uh, gave me some contradictory information about what door they wanted me to go out of and then as my bag slipped off my shoulder and I asked them if I could just pause for one second to fix it they decided that that enough was enough uh, let's take them, uh, cuff me, slam me up against the soda machine, and, and move me out. Um, again, it all, it, all, it all ended eventually uh, at the police station once the chief got word um, that two journalists had been detained, and he said, get them out of there. So they opened the doors and let us out, uh, declined to give us any information about who the officers were or what their badge numbers were. Um, we have no paperwork, thus, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it doesn't exist in the eyes of the police department, and that's something that, to me, was uh, the treatment wasn't that bad, but the idea that someone could be handled that way and then detained, and there's no paperwork paper trail that as a journalist to me that just didn't feel right.